We all make mistakes, and some of them have definitely been costlier than others. However, we're pretty sure your errors haven't caused the loss of billions of dollars or the loss of human as well as animal life. But today, we have a look at some of the most expensive mistakes ever made. Number 24. Once it's broke, it's broke. The Hateful Eight was a Quentin Tarantino movie released in 2015 and starred Kurt Russell and Jennifer Jason Lee. In the film, there was a scene where Lee is strumming a vintage guitar, which is then taken by Russell and then smashed to smithereens. Unbeknownst to either of them, the guitar was a six-string 19th century guitar that the Martin Guitar Museum had loaned them. It hadn't been replaced by a fake one for the scene, and it was totally destroyed. The guitar was valued at $40,000. Number 23. Placement Error Hard to believe that a misplaced comma could cost a company $1 million, but that's exactly what happened to Rogers Communications. The irony is almost too much to bear, as their communications were rather off when they drew up a contract with Bell Alliant. The misplaced comma allowed Bell Alliant to cancel with Rogers Communications after 12 months, as opposed to what should have been five years. Number 22. Biggest Regret Ever Nothing worse than regretting something for the rest of your life, and we're sure that Ronald Wayne thinks about this one almost every day. He worked closely with Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak in the early stages of Apple, but he had some bad past experiences and was dubious about the future, so he sold his share of Apple for $800. If reports are correct, Wayne's worth today would have exceeded $30 billion. Number 21. Biggest Loser There was a lady in England who played the lottery every week and would always write down her numbers on a piece of paper. She probably never won a thing week in and week out, and her husband tossed the lotto ticket away. They would have been $181 million richer had he not been so quick to tidy up. Number 20. Not on the same page When you're working on a project that's costing millions and millions of dollars, you would sort of expect everyone to be on the same page in terms of what measurement system was being used, as in like metric or imperial. That certainly didn't happen on the Mars Climate Orbiter project that had a mechanical failure costing NASA in the region of $327 million. The teams working on the orbiter were using different measurement systems, and the orbiter exploded in a fiery blaze. Number 19. Not the right fit it's never a bad idea to modernize your transport system, so that's exactly what the SNCF Railway Company did in 2014. They ordered 2,000 new trains at a cost of 15 billion euros, only to be horrified to realize that the new trains didn't fit on their older, narrower tracks. They had to spend an additional 50 million euros to widen the train tracks. Number 18. Let your fingers do the talking and this advert definitely had a lot of interested fingers, but for all the wrong reasons. Banner Travels Services placed an advert in the yellow pages telling customers about their specialty in dealing with exotic locations, except the yellow pages accidentally wrote erotic locations, and you can imagine that the travel company was receiving many calls that would probably make you blush. They sued yellow pages for $10 million. Number 17. More than the eye could see We head to the late 19th century, where Russian Emperor Tsar Alexander II decided to sell Alaska for $7.2 million. It's been said that all he could see was lots of land covered by lots of ice. Within 50 years, the land was worth 100 times that amount, and today, of course, the oil and gas reserves alone are worth more than $200 billion. The emperor was worried, too, that America would take it by force, so he decided to rather sell it and be rid of it. Most certainly one of his most expensive mistakes of all time. Number 16. The Force is strong with this one. It certainly is with George Lucas, as Star Wars has surpassed everyone's expectations, but it was Lucas who knew from the start it was going to be huge. Fox didn't think it would be a hit, particularly as they needed such a huge budget for special effects. Lucas offered to reduce his fee to accommodate for that, and he cleverly secured the merchandising rights as well, as Fox truly did not believe it would be a success. They've, to date, probably lost around $20 billion due to this very expensive mistake. Number 15. Let me let you in on a little secret. Xerox was rather ahead of its game during the 70s and had already created a personal PC that was controlled by an external mouse. They never sold the idea, but instead invited Steve Jobs and a few others from Apple to come and research their facilities in exchange for some shares of Apple. Apple loved the idea, and as there was nothing signed to protect Xerox, they launched a similar concept just a short while later. 
Number 14, just a small typo. A broker for Mizuho Securities in Japan had probably the worst day of his life back in 2006. His plan was to sell off one J-Com company share for 610,000 yen, except he made a typo so that he sold 610,000 shares for one yen. As you would expect, shares for Mizuho Securities plummeted. Number 13, Chain Reaction. July 6th, 1988 was a day that many families will never forget as that was the day that 168 of their family members went to work at the Piper Alpha oil rig and never came home again. An explosion occurred and it was caused by a simple case of miscommunication which caused a chain reaction of catastrophic events. A temporary cover had been placed over a pipe which hadn't been communicated to a worker and the technicalities that followed caused $3.4 billion of insured loss, making it a very very costly man-made error. Number 12, sitting on a fortune. Let's meet James Howell, a man who could have been an online billionaire. From the United Kingdom, Howell had collected 7,500 bitcoins, but had no idea what their worth really was. By 2013, it was worth around $4 million in virtual currency, but poor Howell spilled a drink on the hard drive and binned it. When he learned of the worth of the bitcoins, he went straight to the scrapyard, but his efforts were fruitless. Number 11, a little under the influence. It was 1989 when a tanker heading to California had a hugely destructive oil spill. Not only did it do irreparable damage to the wildlife in Prince William Sound off the Alaskan coast, but it cost a pretty penny to clean it up. It was suggested that the captain, Joseph Hazelwood, had gone on a bender the night before. He lost 760,000 barrels of oil, leaving 900 bald eagles, 250,000 seabirds, and 1,000 harlequin ducks a fragment of the past, and tourism in the area dropped significantly as well. Number 10, a mere glitch. Remember how terrified millions of people were the night that we went from 1999 into 2000? We eyed our PCs suspiciously, waiting for them to go crazy, but that didn't happen. What did happen, though, was a little more unexpected. The Millennium Bridge was revealed in London as we went into the new millennium. It's a big, beautiful bridge running over the Thames. Within three hours of the bridge opening, they had to shut it as the bridge was swaying back and forth. Engineers didn't expect the sheer volume of foot traffic, so it was back to the drawing board and an additional $6.6 .6 million over and above the $24.1 million already spent. Number nine, don your sunglasses and take a peek at this bizarre skyscraper located in London, also referred to as Walkie Talkie. It's basically a giant mirror and the reflection of this glass literally melted cars parked nearby. Some eager beavers even fried eggs on the glass's surface. They've since had to add sun protection to the building. Let's hope it's at least SPF 50. Number eight, oh snap. You can't fault Quaker for seeing a great opportunity and they realized the potential of Snapple in its earliest years and bought the firm for $1.4 billion in 1994. They had big plans for the brand, but their initial success was short-lived because competition came in quickly and fiercely. They sold it off three years later for just $300 million. Number seven, never forgotten. This is one of the worst events that we have seen and it happened in the spring of 1986. Chernobyl was blamed solely on operators who had violated plant procedures and weren't up to speed with the proper safety requirements. Faulty equipment hadn't been repaired properly, leading four reactors to go out of control and everything went into meltdown. The total of lives lost, including those that succumbed to cancer in the following years, is thought to be as many as one million. Number six, a bit embarrassing. Every single year, states in the US are able to apply for funding through Race to the Top, which is a grant created to help schools innovate and grow. Thanks to a clerical error, New Jersey missed out on $400 million in 2010. Number five, save every drop. An oil rig was doing a bit of work on Lake Pioneer, Louisiana, when the unthinkable happened and they drilled a little too deep. This led to the collapsing of salt pillars and the formation of a huge sinkhole. The lake was originally only six feet deep, but after the accident reached depths of 1,300 feet. Texaco had to fork out $44.8 million in compensation. Number four, a little ahead of its time. Ford has been around forever. In 1957, they invested $400 million into the development of the Edsel model. For a year, they spent a fortune just advertising this up and coming vehicle, and people were convinced they were going to be faced with a real car of the future. When the Edsel was eventually launched, it was a huge disappointment to everyone. Ford lost $250 million in this whole spectacle. 
Number three, not once, not twice. Ah, we haven't touched on any divorces, and there are a plethora of people who've had a little fun on the side and have had to pay the price. One of those individuals happens to be Tiger Woods, who shared his bed with a number of women. Just a shame he was married to Ellen Nordgren at the time and ended up having to fork out $110 million. Someone estimated his total loss was as high as $12 billion. Number two, not a good shot. The hunter was lost, so he lit a signal flare in the hope someone would find him, and that in turn destroyed 300,000 acres of land, 2,300 homes, and 14 people did not survive the fires. Number one, a little overpriced. Lycos used to be a search engine that began in 1994 and was the third most visited site in America. Terra was a Spanish telecom company that bought Lycos for $11.5 billion. They admit it was a bit of a gamble and who knows what might have happened if the dot-com bubble hadn't burst. But Lycos faded and in 2004, Terra sold it for a mere $95.4 million in cash. Have you ever made a costly error? Was it as bad as any of these? Tell us about it in the comments below. Subscribe to our channel for more daily videos and thanks for watching.